Is there anyone who hasn't been mystified by the light of the firefly? Children love to catch them and put them in bottles, or hold them in their hands, while the little creatures flash on and off. Now, one thing that may surprise you is that scientists too, have been mystified by the firefly's light, and they are still mystified, because there are many things about it they can't explain. The light of the firefly is very much like other kinds of light, except that it is produced without heat. This kind of light is called luminescence. In the firefly, luminescence is produced by a substance called luciferin. This combines with oxygen to produce light. But this reaction won't take place unless another substance, called luciferase, is present. Luciferase acts as a catalyst, that is, it helps the chemical reaction take place, but is not a part of it. To put it another way, fireflies have luciferin and luciferase in their bodies. The luciferase enables the luciferin to burn up and produce light. Now, scientists can produce the same kind of light in the laboratory. But in order to do so, they must obtain the ingredients from the firefly. Chemists cannot produce them synthetically. It remains a secret of nature. What is the purpose of this light in the firefly? Well, there are some explanations for it, of course. One is that perhaps this helps the fireflies find their mates. Another purpose might be to serve as a warning to night feeding birds so that they will avoid the fireflies. But scientists still feel that they don't really know why these lights are necessary to the firefly, since the above reasons don't seem important enough. They think the light may just be a byproduct of some other chemical process that goes on in the firefly's body. A light happens to be produced, but it's not a vital process. Well, whatever the reason for the light, I'm sure most of us are glad it's there because of the pleasure of seeing these little insects as they move about at night.